okay today we are going to discuss about airbus a320 air conditioning system uh, first we'll look at the uh, basic layout of the system and then we'll go deep into the components and see what they the function of the components are first of all you have two computers which controls the system and these two computers are air conditioning system control computers so you have two so basically the air conditioning system control computer one will control the pack one and air conditioning system controller two will control the pack two one important thing which you have to remember that the flow calculation is done by the air conditioning system controller one only so even for pack two the calculation part will be done by system controller one and he will send the signal to air conditioning system controller 2 and accordingly the air conditioning system control 2 will control its valve to get the required temperature output from the packs okay we will go through the components and then uh, we will uh, discuss the functions now this is the basic diagram you have the you have a flow control valve here and flow control valve here and this is flow control valve 1 this is flow control valve 2 okay you have two packs and for pack number 1 you use flow control valve 1 for pack number 2 you use flow control valve 2 so air flow will come from here from one of the sources the sources would be uh, engine APUO HP ground car okay after passing through the flow control valve air flow gets divided into two parts one path leads to the related side pack and the other path leads to the trim air pressure regulating valve that is the hot air valve so if you have a look you have flow control valve 1 and flow control valve 2 here so here the air comes and it goes to the trim air pressure regulating valve and here also after flow control valve 2 the air flow will go to the trim air pressure regulating valve as well so you have only one trim air pressure regulating valve in the system even though you have two packs uh, you only have one trim air pressure regulating valve so we'll discuss about the hot air part later so we'll have a look at the uh, basic uh, cooling part first and after flow control valve a part of air will go through pack one and then it will go to the mixer unit and when it comes to mixer unit you can see that it has uh, several inlets it has inlet from air conditioning packs that is one and two and it has inlet from the uh, ground LP inlet and there's another inlet from the emergency ram air side so and you can see here there's another air inlet into the mixer unit that is from cabin fans and you have two cabin fans in the system and you can see that it's divided into two parts basically one part is used by pack number two another part is for pack number one but if you have a look at the top section here the pack two air and pack one air can mix it mix together and here you will see another sort of a duct which is operated by a uh, uh, operated by an actuator which is known as a mixer unit flap actuator so air coming from the pack 2 can enter this duct as well so in case if the this particular valve is open it can go straight into the cockpit so after the mix unit the air is supplied to three zones mainly that is cockpit forward cabin and aft cabin and here you can see that there's a lavatory and galley extraction duct so this duct is used to uh, ventilate the temperature sensors in the forward cabin and aft cabin area and the uh, ventilated air so is dumped near to the outflow valve which is located uh, 
towards the tail side of the A320, right hand side. Now if we have a look at the hot air side and after flow control valve it came to this trim air pressure regulating valve and after the trim air pressure regulation valve mainly it get divided it gets divided into three zones that is for hot air for cockpit hot air for forward cabin hot air for aft cabin if the aircraft has this optional forward cargo heating system installed there will there you will find another valve here to control the amount of hot air going into the forward cargo compartment so this is the basic layout of the system and we'll go through each and every component and we'll dive deep into this uh, pack one as well then you will be able to understand easily how the system works